Hey Divas, it's Ingrid Anna here. How are you? I'm excited because I've had a lovely morning. I took my daughter to swimming. We went for breakfast. I've been speaking to some of my students and clients. Students are the student divas in my diva mind and some people do private work with me. And I call them my clients, but they're all incredible. They're all amazing and they're all kicking ass. And I wanted to talk to you today. I thank you so much for some of you who have participated in answering my poll around what I'm gonna teach uh, coming up soon. I'll let you know that we're very, hey, Dora Gorgeous. We're very busy um, behind the scenes in a business. <laughs> Most people are. But um, we've been redoing our membership site so it's a lot more user-friendly. It's completely redesigned. Um, we're constantly adding in new content. I'm doing like little, I call it wake up diva live stream. So there's a category for that in our back end now. So we've just elevated um, the way that we're not so much teaching, but there's so much in our curriculum. So that's been really exciting and I'm getting great feedback from my diva mind. Hey, gorgeous Neve and uh, students about the content there. So that's exciting. I have gone through a massive upgrade over the last few weeks. Um, I have been speaking to a few other of my students too who, who are making a lot more money. And um, it's a whole new reality. And I just had a girl who was in the diva mind and her name, she doesn't mind me using her name, her name's Ninky. She did about 70, 80K in seven weeks cash, right? And now she's come to work with me a little bit privately on the side as well as stay in the diva mind. And um, I was speaking to her today about the ascension that I'm going through and everyone's going through it at the moment. So I'm definitely not alone. And I shared it in my class line last night and it's really around, like I was joking it with her and I'm gonna share it with you. I'm not gonna hold myself back. Heck yes, Isa, yeah. It's like pleasure your way to millions. So what do I mean by that? Serving millions, making millions, if that's what you desire in a state of pleasure. So for many years, like I'm 43 years of age, I've had chronic illness, I've had a chronic abuse growing up, I've had all this stuff, right? Massive drama with my family, like real dark, dark stuff, right? I've lost, I lost my company in New York. Uh, I was an ad executive at 28 in New York City, pitching and selling TV shows. And then I, I raised capital and I had my own clothing line for years. And then basically I lost my health and my sanity and my a lawyer stole my corporate kid. And anyway, I had to rebuild my whole self, uh, rebuild my company, rebuild my finances and all that. Anyway, if I look back at my life and I'm really honest with you all, I, have really been on some level in a state of fight and flight, right? Like real, that, that masculine push. I grew up with two immigrant parents who started their business off from nothing. Um, grateful for all the lessons there in terms of having determination and grit and resilience. And, um, you know, uh, my dad also taught me to speak up for myself because of the way that he treated me, which wasn't great. Um, so really learning to own my voice and own my power and set my band boundaries around what is my space and who I am and, and what I stand for as a woman and how do I want to be treated and all that. But there's always been this element of even when I started making a lot more money, even when I hit 500,000, even when I hit a million dollars, really the way that I've been functioning, you know, um, is still not completely, it hasn't completely been in a state of really deep pleasure and really deep alignment, really deeply allowing it to unfold. And this has been birthing a lot more deeply for me over the last six or seven months and more deeply so now where we're talking about really jumping into parallel realities. There's always the other reality there for you. And so to, I'm gonna be honest, like my libido has gone through the roof. I've been having more sex with my husband and really there was a disconnection there just from, I was like, looked at him one day and I was like, oh my God, we need to come back. We've been, you know, we've had a baby, we've built this business, we're serving all these people. And I'm just kind of like, there's not enough intimacy. There's not enough connection. There's not enough pleasure. And then, so I've been reworking how I'm structuring my business. I'm hiring more staff, other coaches. Um, Really, but more than even more than that, it's just my whole vibration, my whole energy around how I relate to life. So, 
why am I sharing this? Because I feel that we're sitting on this real level of massive change. And if you want to quantum leap into a new reality at this time in this dimension, pleasure needs to be magnified. Sexual energy, sensual energy, this sense of showing up when I asked today the questions, you know, who are you without the limits? Who are you without uh, the denial of your power? Who are you when you show up? Hey, gorgeous Lakshmi, fully, right? Right now, I'm showing you and I'm sharing with you my truth, my vulnerability, my weaknesses, my pain. And I also have an incredible amount of strength and love. And it comes from love, helping other women show up in a way that doesn't have to be perfect, that embodies the beauty and the exquisiteness of you that is real that is soul right so I am inviting hey Holly and I you know I get emotional because you know we hide it so much and I just the way that I've built my business honestly guys is through having a deep sense of divine and radical connection to my divinity hey gorgeous Daria my creativity and my holiness right clearly articulating you know when I talked about attracting three new clients in the next 10 days you know I want to do that training for you I will do a five-day you know deep immersion for free okay but I'm like I've got a lot on my plate over the next month of integrating I'm automating my systems I'm setting it all up like I did my seven if you haven't watched it you can watch it right now so hey gorgeous Bridget woman hey Isa they're the ease of it so I'm setting it all up and instead of going, oh my God, I need to go and do this and I need to do this or like saying to my husband a million times, have you got this done? When is this getting done? I can't do it. I have functioned on that level my friggin' entire life and I am literally like done. Every single time I go into any of that, it's actually like push. It is a level of fear to it as well. It's like... Like, I've got to get it done. It's aggressive. It's an aggressive energy. Now, it is important to be deliberate. It is important to follow through. It is important to be very clear about what needs to get done. <clears throat> and there is also a level of trust, a level of flow, a level of surrender. So for me... <sighs> Like I've got my, I've got my webinars, I've got my funnels, I've got my ads, I've got the copy, I've got all these different things and getting on video and showing up. And then that's kind of all I'm prepared to do. <laughs> like I am frigging not doing any more than that, you know? And then like at the moment I'm inviting a lot of my students to work a four day work week, you know, have your long weekend, take your Friday or Monday off or whatever it is, take a day off in the middle of the week get off social media, take the time to recalibrate, to go within, to just live in the presence of what you are creating. Because if you tap into like, okay, without a doubt, this is done. I'm building whatever it is, your 500K, your 300K, your 100K, your million, your 5 million, whatever it is that you're wanting, which by the way, whatever it is that you're wanting and desiring financially, um, personally spiritually is frigging incredible and amazing and you desire whatever the fuck you want right no shame around your around your desires so claim it claim it claim it be deliberate in your actions get really clear about what you need to do and in what sequence and do it with deliberateness do it with love do it with trust and then surrender to the outcome is anyone here with me at the moment? <laughs> so I'm just going to summarize for you. If you want to attract, say, three new clients in the next 10 days, it comes down to crafting your offer and making it really clear about what it is that you're here to sell. And what you're here to sell is your divine service, right? I, an exercise in my diva mind that I did just the other day is to really, really, really get very clear about what the frig you stand for. Who are you? What do you stand for? So I stand for the social, economic, 
and spiritual power of all women. Great, manifesting with so, so much joy. But the, fa the whole fact is that when you're manifesting, Bridget says she's manifesting with so much joy, really, it's about your frequency and your energy, right? If you're like, I'm, I, one of the chants that I literally say all the time, especially when I was getting out of my own scarcity, was I'm a rich woman. I won't stand for this any longer. I'm a rich woman. I'm a rich woman. I'm a rich woman. And I attract clients with ease, love, and grace, right? And I attract clients through Eve, love, Eve, ease, love, and grace by clearly articulating who I am, what I stand for, and what I do. I see so many incredibly uh, talented, gifted healers. They don't even share a testimonial. They don't share client wins. If you notice at the beginning, I talked about Ninky doing the 70K, uh, you know, in whatever it was, seven weeks, right? Cash. And now we're looking at elevating that. We're creating a whole new platform for her. We're making sure that she brings in other coaches because literally she sold out her last 8K offer, like sold it out, paid in full. Every woman paid her in full. I'm sharing that story. You know, she, it's a co-creation between her and I. I clearly articulate my client wins, right? Um, um, I remember this chant you gave us and I was, and I still use it. Bridget, for example, she has done, she's in a gifted, incredible channel and she started selling like really incredibly huge high end packages. She allowed me to use a check that she got paid when she got paid this large sum of money. We deleted out the person's name, things like that really showing people the, the, and demonstrating who you are and the value of your work and the client transformation. So take up space with that. Um, you can change names, you can use stories and videos. So you can tell a story and completely change someone's name, but use the essence of the story to teach and connect with your audience. So really when I'm looking at selling more, for example, I will think about the amount of money that I wish to receive as well. And then I kind of let that go, but I do put it around my house. And when I was first really wanting to sell a lot more, I wanted to do about quite a few hundred K actually quite quickly. And so I put the amount of money up there and then I kind of broke it down into chunks. So I think it was a 240,000. I've still got that piece of paper in my kitchen, <laughs> in the cupboard, uh, because maybe there was a part of me that wasn't really sure that I was going to manifest it, but I, I did. And I did much more than that in the end, right? But um, I put it there as an intent and I always say to the universe that I want more and I always visualize myself connecting to my audience and how that's going to feel for me. So I always, I'm already attuning to the energetic frequency of the woman. Like I see her, I know her, I'm connecting to her energetic field. I'm having a conversation with her. I know who she is. I know what her pain is and I know what she desires and where she wants to go, right? So whenever you're writing copy, whenever you're speaking on video or writing ad copy or doing your opt-ins and your free lead magnets, doing webinar content, that level of positioning and connecting emotionally with your audience, it's, it's not a fluke, it's not wishy-washy. You've got to take the time to know her to know her deeply if, it, if it's a woman that you're serving. And what, what are the two big questions that you should absolutely be able to answer off the cuff are what, what is her deepest pain? What is she crying about? What is she raging about? How is it affecting her? How is it affecting her in her life, in her marriage, with her children? What, what's going on? And where does that really come from? You know, because usually it's a certain, it's like showing up in her life, but it's a deeper level of something, right? That's usually probably happened in childhood, maybe a broken marriage, but it's, it's kind of this pattern that's showing up in her life. So what is her pain? And then what does she most want? What is she most wanting? And you should know that deeply, deeply, deeply so that you can clearly articulate this in all your platforms, whether it's social media or a post, your webinars, your opt-ins, right? So that she knows that you're speaking to her. You know, this is something that you, you know, can't rush. Go into it, write about her. It, is it based on your journey and your story? You know, if I was do, selling an eating disorder program, I remember sitting at the bottom of my shower crying and blood pouring out of my body. I remember what it was like to have a benign tumor in my uterus and three surgeries and blood poisoning and almost losing my life. It was horrific. You know, I remember that a lot of that poison within my body um, came from the chronic amount of trauma that I've experienced in my life. And I literally was dying. 
So when I'm articulating that and I'm talking about, if I see on my goal one more person advertising a weight loss product where they're sitting there in their skinny little mini and, oh my God, I'm going to lose my mind. Um, because really weight is just a symptom. Um, and anyway, we need a whole other paradigm and a whole other, other discussion about that, right? But my weight and my body dysmorphia and all of that was a soul core, a soul like wound that had not been really fully loved and addressed, right? So I can clearly articulate that. So I want you to be brave, I want you to be bold, and I want you to take the time to really understand who it is you are speaking to, what you stand for, what her core wounds are, and then what she most deeply desires. And I want you to give yourself permission to get on video, to get online, and to clearly articulate that to your audience. And what that does is establish a deep amount of trust. So basically, I um, have built my business on what I call uh, the currency of connection. And we have to be brave enough to connect one to ourselves, to our voice, to our power, to our wisdom. When I asked a question today um, in my CEO Diva group, about you know who are you when you own your power? I got I'm an alchemist. I'm a channel. I'm a high priestess. I am just like I'm this exquisite being. So I want you to really feel into that for yourself, and I want you to start expressing that both energetically and verbally, and on video. Take up space. Take up space. And that is my message for you today. Call it in, write down how much money you wanna make over the next 10 days, put it up, put it where you're having coffee, put it up where you're brushing your teeth, see it, feel into it, feel into what it would be like to already have that money. See it in your bank account and then start calling those women in. Get them on calls and start selling. Selling is sacred. Selling, when you lead the conversation, when you hold reverence and connect. I, at, when I'm doing a sales call, girlfriends, and I'm hoping giving you a lot of free content that you can go and utilize, guys, I am not thinking about the sale. I'm thinking about one thing, one thing only. Holding sacred space for that woman so that she feels seen and heard. I am channeling and downloading everything I think that person needs in order to get what they want and then I feed that back to them and then I invite them to make a decision. I am not attached to her decision because my abundance and my legacy and my business success and my financial success and everything that I'm doing is not dependent on one woman saying yes to me. That woman. If I do my job and that woman is actually ready to do the work, she will be a fucking hell yes. And I don't need to push, manipulate, entice anyone to buy from me. Because I own my own brilliance, I own the potency of my work, and I focus on the heart connection with her and if she then wants to buy from me, buy from me. But I am not going to expend my energy or be desperate around trying to get something. Even if I've said this before to my students, I don't care if you can barely afford a latte to buy your own latte, your $3 latte, your $5 latte, whatever. It depends on how fancy the shop is that you go to, right? It doesn't matter. That stuff needs to be left to the side and all you do is connect. And then if the connection is pure and real and aligned and that person is ready to really rock it and she trusts you and she trusts herself enough, it will be such an easy yes because she's ready. And I always say it like it is. And if I feel that I need to ask for permission for that, like if someone's on a call with me, I have a whole sales team so I don't do a lot of calls anymore, but when I do, I, um, and I, I feel I really need to like lay it on the line. Uh, and by the way, the only way I can lay it on the line is not being attached to the outcome and not being worried about, or being concerned about being liked, right? So you have to have a lot of courage. It's like, I'm, I am going to be in service to this person. I'm not here to be liked, right? And really at the end of the day, 
the people that are right for me hear me and see me and are so grateful for the truth that comes out of my mouth, right? <laughs> so I will ask for permission. Do you want to really hear what I feel that I would like to express or what I'm really feeling into it right now? Do you want to hear it? And then they have a, the, they make the choice around whether they want to hear it and receive it. Because why am I going to either pitch or give someone something around what I really feel that they need to do if they are not ready to receive it? It is a waste of my energy and my time. So I then allow that person to make a conscious choice about receiving it. Otherwise, it's like, thank you so much for your time. You're a beautiful soul. It's been lovely to spend time with you. Thank you and goodbye. Take care, reach out to me if you want to, ask me any questions. I, I don't push it because there's no need. I had a sales girl recently speak to someone. She makes millions of dollars. She wants to work with me on a project and she wants to speak to me now. That's fine. Uh, it's a private, it's a pretty big contract for me, whatever. And I called this woman at work and I could just feel in her energy that she was stressed. And I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm like, so I said to her, oh my God, are you okay? I can, feel, I can feel that you're stressed. There's a lot, seems like a lot going on. Is this a good time to talk or would you like to do it another time? And she said, another time would be so good. And she said, I'm traveling, I'm doing this. I said, look, let me just reach out with you. I'll get my assistant to check in around this date and we'll set up another call. Um, and let's have a face-to-face -face discussion so we can really make sure that this is an alignment for both of us. I really want to hear about what your vision is and then we'll work it out and then and really see whether you know this is a real match. Uh, how does that feel to you? And she's like, yeah, that's great. So I, if the energy is not, if it's not right, why would you push it, right? Um, in the meantime, I'm selling, I'm doing my thing because I'm not attached to that one woman's outcome and I just felt it was going to be so forced and, it, and the timing wasn't right. So this is about emotional IQ, money IQ, I call it the diva IQ, trusting, remember, divinity, creativity, your holiness, flow. Um, so guys, over the next 10 days, if you really want three new clients, get on video, get really clear about who you are, what you stand for, Tap into the energy of already having received it. Tap into the energy of working with these women from such a heart level, loving these women, loving loving them up, seeing them transform, seeing them being so grateful, seeing them easily say yes because they are ready. You want to work with people that are ready, right? Intuition. Yeah, it's intuition and trusting the flow of the energy. You know, we're all energetic beings. We're all so intuitive. Um, so guys, I hope that I've been of service today. I'm actually going to go uh, shopping um, and spend some time. I don't know, I need to buy my uh, daughter a bathrobe, uh, some new Ugg boots. I'm gonna get my nails done and uh, just chill out a bit and have more rest today as we are recalibrating, recalibrating. Um, as the business, uh, my business is grow and I actually have more time off, which is beautiful. And I'm making sure that that's a deliberate action as well. Hey, Bridget, gorgeous. So um, lots of time off, lots more pleasure, uh, lots more intimacy with my family and the people that I adore. Um, my students uh, are just literally incredible people, uh, amazing, loving, uh, such heart women. I adore them and that's not a fluke. That's a conscious, conscious choice. I, I've definitely had people where it didn't flow as much in the past and I'm like, oh my God, I'm creating this. There's something that I'm doing here that's creating this kind of whatever it is. Uh, lovely people, but just not completely at the level of heart and care um, that kind of I'm quite a um, very sensitive being so I just got really conscious around what I was doing to allow that in so a deeper level of love a deeper level of clarity around who I'm here to serve uh, and how I want it to feel so I always talk about your feeling taking you into a future rea your future reality so if you want to stop a negative pattern pattern of scarcity pattern of denying a true struggle drama the most conscious, deliberate, and powerful and quick way that I know how to do that is to feel the fuck out of what it is that you want. 
feel the fuck out of how you want your marriage to be. Feel the fuck how, out of how you want it to be with your clients, your students, running your mastermind if you want to run a mastermind, launching a program, calling people in. How does it feel? How does it feel to have consistent 20K months? How does it feel to have 50, yeah, 50K months? How does it feel to run a sold out program retreat? How does it feel to have one-on-one -on -one retreat with a client on a weekend that they paid you $15,000 for? Easy done, really. When you get clear and you claim that for yourself, oh, I could run a one-on-one -on -one for three to four days, private retreat, everything included, 15,000. Maybe throw in a bonus for a one month intensive with you on top of that. This is creativity. This is allowing it in. This is like claiming it for yourself. Anyway, I better go, someone's waiting for me. Okay, I've gotta go. Send you so much love, I'm parked in somewhere I don't need to park. Okay, bye, I mean that I'm not meant to park in. <laughs> Blessings guys, bye.